everyone and welcome to my TWE T-Log. Welcome to my tea chunk video where I keep these videos short as possible. And in this tea log, I am on a mission. Yes, I have learnt at the beginning of this year that Maya the Bee is having another movie coming out called Maya the Bee The Honey Games. It comes out in Germany on the 1st of March which is not too far away actually now you're probably wondering why does a man like a cartoon like Maya the Bee well yes it is a preschool show for those who have seen it I mean I liked I like other preschool shows as well like Maya's yeah, Maya the, Maya the Bee, obviously. <laughs> Martha Speaks. Uh, Little Einsteins. That was on a few years ago, but then stopped. I don't know, around 2008 or something. Like that. It lasted for like two years. Uh, Timothy Goes to School. Because that, that was a cute series to watch. It was, a, it was a good series to watch. And with Maya the Bee, that had my attention because it had, it doesn't now, but it had the voice of Andrea Libman. And how did I know that was the voice of Andrea Libman? Well, because of Pinkie Pie's laugh. Yes. If you listen carefully to Pinkie Pie's laugh, well, giggles, mostly. It's, most, it's mostly Pinkie Pie's giggles. If you listen to Pinkie Pie's giggles, like for example, Maud Pie, when she was on the rock slides, and then she nearly got hit by the giant rock that Maud actually saved her life from, you will hear that possibly same giggle in my in Maya the Bee when she's like enjoying her fly around in the meadow because she, uh, normally she used to live in the hive but she got bored of the hive she got bored of the daily honeybee ritual you know collecting the nectar and um, making it into honey uh, so she decided that she wanted to live in the meadow, which, in time, Miss Cassandra and the Queen of the Bees accepted, and she lived in the meadow ever since. 
not only Andrea was on the show, but also Rebecca Shoyshe voicing Willie. Rebecca Shoyshe, as you know, is uh, Night Glider, Sugar Bell, and yes, dare I say it, Sunset Shimmer on My Little Pony. It also had Tabitha St. Germain on it as Ben the Dung Beetle. It also had Kira Toza, who was Minka Mark in Littlest Pet Shop. And that thought, and that connection was like, wow, I'm really enjoying this. This is really good. It also had um, Sam Vincent. He was the voice of Snail. I can't think of his name right now, but he was the voice of a snail. Uh, so... That was so amazing about Maya. The B. You, the VAs cannot escape from each other, you know? It's like, okay, they're, not, they're done in one show, and then they do another show, and it's like, wow, they just keep going on. They keep bonding. They keep coming together, and it's, like, amazing. It's like, it's like when the main six met each other, but they'd never known about it. They never realised that they've actually known each other all this time because of Rainbow Dash's Rain Boom. But the only VA that wasn't on there was Ashley Ball. I don't know why, but she she wasn't there. Maya the Bee had a second season, TV-wise, they had a second season in 2012 where, unfortunately, Andrea Libman, Rebecca, Tabitha, Sam, Brian, and Ellen didn't continue their roles as their characters. I was very gutted in a way. It's, it's a shame that they didn't continue their roles as uh, their, their own characters. Uh, Maya, Willie, Ben, uh, Miss Cassandra, um, yeah, it was disappointing that they didn't uh, continue their roles. But I did see one of the episodes of season two, and that was Jealousy. And that was the episode that Maya had a secret confession, secret confession, that she had a crush on Willie. Which kind of makes sense because Willie is Maya's closest friend, and I was and is always there for Willie, and I think that Willie is always there for Maya. But Willie, Willie is the like the lazy bee. He's like, oh, just a couple of more minutes, Maya. Oh, I just want to rest a few more. Oh, do I have to do this now? Um, oh. that sort of thing. But. Maya the B, The Honey Games will be out on March the 1st in Germany and I want to see if Maya the B, The Honey Games is advertised in the UK yet because I've seen on YouTube and I've got it in my playlist that my the be the honey games I've seen a teaser of it and um, I thought oh my god why are the bees having another movie yay Maya's having Maya's back on the big screen yay oh that would be good to see unless it's a director DVD film but it would be great to see it in the big screen uh, my mum is also helping me as well because she is going to try and find the Maya the Bee the Honey Games poster in its original language that is German because Maya the Bee was originally a German novel.
It was a novel. It was a series of books in German which eventually came onto TV and then translated around the world, including British and American. And yeah, English, basically. English. Uh, I would have watched the first one, but seeing the trailer of the first Maya the Bee movie, Maya sounded good. Maya sounded good. However, Willie didn't. But would I still get Maya the Bee? The movie? Possibly. On the right, depending on the right price. Kind of like the My Little Pony the movie thing. If I get it on my birthday, that's great. If I get it on a cheaper price, possibly. Like under £10, under three, well, say three pounds, like, you know, like that sort of deal. Get it for Christmas, great. But possibly, yes, I would get Maya the, mo Maya the Bee, the movie, if I see it on DVD again, which is doubtful. But anyway, I will be on my mission to find Maya the Bee, the Honey Games, advertised on UK British film on the British film industry and I will let you know if I see her oh yes hello I'm back and I'm right behind me is Odeon or as it actually stands for Oscar Deutsch entertains Open Nation. Now this is the cinema that I worked for back in 2010 as a work trial. But unfortunately I never got the uh, job for this cinema which I was kind of really gutted about. And it would be nice to actually uh, get my job back here at Odeon or any other Odeons in the Northwest. But I'm here because Odeon are far better at advertising films than Viewer because Odeon is the biggest cinema in the UK and it's well known, very well known. So I might have a bit of a chance maybe to find Maya here. So we'll just have to find out. Will I find advertisement for Maya the Bee, the Honey Games in Odeon? Join me later. Hi, I'm back. Eventually. And um, the reason why it's, I'm back quite late is because of the buses. Now, I know we have the Beast from the East storm, but I won't go into detail, but anyway. My search for Maya. Well, just like the search of the Krispy Kreme trucks last year to celebrate the 80th anniversary of its founding in 1937, it was a complete... And, fail. and I'm disappointed, honestly. Of course, of course I'm disappointed. But I have some theories. One, it could be released a week or two before the release in Germany, which is in March 1st. Two, it could be out later in the month, like uh, the Smurfs and the Lost Village did last year, or maybe early April. Or three, it could it could be a straight to DVD release, and it it's not all bad really, because I was looking through this book here, you know the the Odeon guide, and I found a bit of hope in my ambition goals. 
because um, there's a new film coming out, Peter Rabbit, starring James Corden, which is which I do like James Corden. <laughs> um, he stars as Peter Rabbit, and that's out on March 16th. And there was a fact about Beatrix Potter saying that her first Peter Rabbit novel was published in 1902 when she was just 36 years old. So that, okay then, that made me believe that could I be Walt Disney or Beatrix Potter? And I have to kind of push myself as well. Uh, I need to say, you know, Tom, you need to start concentrating on writing, think, do some more thinking, uh, get, your mind, get your imaginative mind working again, get your 2006 mind working again, and just uh, get the story done. I mean, I'm not just writing My Little Pony uh, stories, I'm not. I'm writing my own story. Well, it's going to be another story now because I made the other story too complicated to understand. So, hopefully, I'll get on to Blue's predicament, which is uh, Speckler's best friend, and then maybe I could put Speckler as a prequel or something like that. She could be. Um, a separate thing. I'm still keeping my uh, specular story, but it's like a origin because specular will obviously be in Blue's story, which I called uh, Risha. Uh, so, yeah. Well, ev well, everyone, thank you for watching my mission, and I'm going to end this T log like I do with all my T logs by saying. Brohoof and goodbye.